Aquarius, opening up with 1111, beautiful synchronicity. You might be mastering a new beginning, okay? So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Beautiful, 1111 on the clock. No beginnings, no things that you're manifesting. Angels that are around you, past loved ones that are trying to move you forward, help you move forward. You know, I'm also seeing 372 for some reason. Why, do, why are they showing me 372? It could be an area code of a number. It could be the starting of a number. It could be a, a building, an apartment number, a house number. But I'm getting 372 for some reason. Hmm. Could be somebody's birthday. March 1972 or flip it. I don't know why I'm getting 372. But let me see, Minera. What is going on here with Aquarius? What do they need to know? What else? Somebody here. Somebody here that took you for granted. Somebody here that jumped you over. Somebody here that jumped over and did something that might have planned it with you, might have been with you, might have been you might have been manifesting something with somebody here in a relationship, in a commitment, in a family, you know, with family, business, whatever. Take it how it hits you. But something here that you were manifesting with somebody, somebody here fucked you over, went and did it on their own, and now they're they're fucked up. They don't have no money and they don't have no protection from their guys. And they're going through it. They're crying their asses off here. Because something that they did to you was so bad. And I feel like it's everything. I feel like, you know, they went moving on thinking, you know what? I fucked up Aquarius. You know, I did what I did. Fuck Aquarius. Fuck this. Fuck that. They're going to stay with no money. They ain't going to be able to move forward. They're going to have protection from anything. Actually, what I'm picking up from the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and what I'm picking up from the Judgment in reverse is like this person's getting it in all kind of, in all kind of ways. This person, whoever you're dealing with here, is getting it in all type of ways. Up and down, left and right. I'm not going to say the rest, but they're getting it. Man, they're getting it bad. They're listing their job. If they had a job, they're going to lose their job. They already lost it. If they have any type of income coming in, they're going to lose it. They don't have protection from the spiritual guides because they've done so much harm to so many people. Their guides have backed up from them. So at this moment in time, if they think they're moving forward with anybody, with anything, with any abundance, with any job, with anything, even if they're doing right right now, after this, you're going to see how this is going to happen. She strongly said me this person or these people or whatever it was. And I feel like there's a lot of people involved in the situation here when it comes to family and friends that were involved in a whole commotion here in somebody's family or whatever the fuck that was with friends in it. Everybody getting fucked up. Everybody is getting fucked up while you're moving forward. Because they try to flip everything on you and some... Whatever it was here, if you were this person, living with this person, and a commitment with this person, they were trying to flip the world on you, like, make you, like, not move forward. It's like a narcissist, psychotic, or sociopath that I'm picking up here. They try to flip you backwards, and at some point, they might have fucked you up, but their world is flipping upside down, and you're going to see it with your own very eyes. Look at this. They never wanted to walk away. It's like, I feel like they want to come back. Because every blessing they got, they got it when they were with you. They haven't got no blessings when they were with you. They had a good home with you. You took care of this person. You feel me? You gave everything to this you gave everything to this person. But there was a time and a place I feel like where you messed up here, Aquarius. And you put your guard down and you did something here wrong, which I don't want to talk about it because I'm reading for everybody, but somebody got to hear it. Like there's something you did here with something with money or you did something or trickery or you played something on somebody because they something, whatever the case was, and you lost a lot of money there for a while. You probably lost your job and lost there for a minute. You were serving some karma, of course. I, I can't even lie. I don't sugarcoat shit on my channel. You did something here that at some point in your life, you didn't know what the fuck to do. But everything is, is flipping now. Backwards for somebody here and for some other people. Let me tell you something, Aquarius. Somebody here getting it and getting it bad. And when I tell you bad, I can't even make shit up. Like, look at this. 
the House of Swords fights, arguments, disagreements, people fist fighting, like people going at it, people looking and lurking at each other, not trusting each other, locking room doors. You can't come in my room, you know, don't go in my room when I'm gone, family members, friends, whatever it is, like there's no trust. There's a problem here, a really severe problem at home here. Somebody might like I'm here to go fishing or likes um, sharks or something like that. Be careful if you go fishing. Be careful who you go with, what waters you get into, at least for 21 days. For some reason, they're telling me that. No vaya pa'l agua. Don't go to the water, at least for like 21 days. Because something could happen, or both could flip upside down. Something could happen in the bottom, the engine could break, whatever it is, but water's going to start coming in a boat or it already happened. But they're, they're telling me, no te puedes montar en un barco, like you cannot get in a boat, in a cruise, anything inside the water. Be very careful. Even when you go, um, I mean, the only probably people on earth that go to the beach when it's this time is in Florida. So, I don't know, because I'm not around the world, but even if it's just a pool behind your, your house or water that you're stepping into, be very careful, even in the shower. It's just water, period. My God. I don't know who that's for, but listen... If they invite you to go to a cruise or a boat or whatever, I know it's hard to say no, whatever. If you don't feel it, go ahead and do it. That's not your story. But if you feel it in your gut and you, and you remember this at that moment, that's because that your guys are telling you, remember that reading. Go back and don't do it. You feel me? That's how they work. I, I need to do lessons out here because I need to teach people how spirits work. And how they give you messages in a certain places, certain times, and how you, you could pick up on it. But I don't want to do it exactly in social media. Like into the whole YouTube because I don't want the haters to know what the fuck they need to be doing, which they should because I, th I think that everybody should change their life here. But there's some people that don't know what it is to change their life. They don't accept the reality of the world, and all they want to do is fuck people up. That's what I'm seeing here. But you know what? You're coming out with victory here. At the end, of course, you're gonna win. You've prayed so much for this person to get out of your fucking energy. You have fought your mind so much, your energy, your mind, your soul, your thoughts. Even temptation that has come in, you fought it so much and you've walked away. So there's There's been moments and times where I'm seeing Aquarius is here. The temptation was so hard you couldn't walk away and you came back and you fucked up again. And you said, you know what, this time I'm not going to do it. But I feel there's a lot of Aquarius is here moving forward, a lot of faith. It's like faith is making you move forward. You fighting your own mind, your own thoughts, your own energy is making you move forward. And you are going to be victorious here. I feel like there's something good coming your way, a new beginning, but it's going to bring a lot of things. Not only a lover or a partner, it's bringing a lot of things. There's something that you're waiting for here that's going to give. But there's a house here that doesn't stop with the fighting, the chaos, the drama, the he said, the she said, that he called, that she called. You know, fuck that nigga, fuck that bitch. You don't need to be around this energy. If you do not remove out of this energy, you're going to stay stuck there. You're going to be fighting everybody around you and defending yourself. Because I feel like whatever happens, no matter what it is, let's just say you did something yesterday. You were not supposed to do it. We all do it. But you didn't do it for the past next two weeks. They're going to blame everything on you. It's always been like that way. It's always been that way, I heard. Somebody here is either going to have a connection, a friendship, a new friendship, a connection, something that's coming in, and you might have been manifesting this for a very long time. But there's been things in your way where it's always a motherfucking problem. They stand your way. There's a person that's very violent. So I'm going to tell you this. You know, spirits tell you things for a reason. Ancestors come in and they help you for a reason. But when somebody doesn't listen, they back up. Somebody has been physically abused so bad to the point of death. Okay? And I feel like one person here that I'm picking up on is still dealing with a person here. That is very, very physical when it comes to their hands and putting their physical hands on somebody. If you do not remove yourself from this person... You are not going to make it through. And I want you to make it through. I believe in you. You're a person that's supposed to be loved. You deserve love. You deserve stability. You deserve to be happy. You deserve a good life. You don't deserve a person that when they want to, just for no reason, they turn around and they do something crazy. Mentally and physically. 
you do let nobody because you're fighting your mind i'm picking on one person here i don't know who it is or i don't know how many people it is but i'm picking specifically on one person right now that is fighting their mind their thoughts it's racing like they want to get out of a situation and they can't and every time they try they're stopped you cannot let nobody motherfucking stop you because if you can't take care of yourself love yourself put yourself first and know your worth you're never going to move anywhere in this world and i'm not telling you to put you down i'm telling you to help you move forward because ain't nobody here got no right to put hands on anybody you feel me so you stand up you get that help you look for the help. Let me tell you something. Where there's one help, you're going to find the other one. When there's not one help, you're going to find it somewhere. But you need to remove yourself. If you don't remove yourself, you're going to be fighting for the rest of your life. And you don't want that. No matter how much you love a person, no matter how much, you know, you want to be next to a person. If they're toxic, they're motherfucking toxic. And I don't know who I'm picking up on here. But it's very, my God, my, my ancestor and I, two of my guys are getting so pissed off. It's like, se lo dijeron mente mi beso. Like, you've been told a thousand times, leave this person. I feel like your own ancestors, and I'm sorry, Aquarius, that I'm going like this hard. But if I don't make you wake up, ain't nobody in this motherfucking YouTube at any tower going to make you wake up. Your guides, your ancestors, your protectors have backed up from you. And they've looked at you and said, you know what? Of course, keeps on doing this. So and so keeps on doing this. They don't learn their lesson. We're going to back up and we're going to let them get fucked up. That doesn't mean they left you. That doesn't mean they turned their back on you. Yeah, they turned their back, but not forever. So somebody's guys, you have to step back. Ancestors, everything is around you that's protecting you. They step back so you can bump heads again and crash into that wall again. For some reason, somebody needs to hear this. Stop fighting your mind and start fighting your thoughts and start fighting a person and get up and fight your way out of it and then start fighting your way into your own damn self because you are motherfucking worth it. And if nobody told you or ever told you, I'm telling you, you're worth it. No matter what you've done in the past, we all make mistakes. We all do wrongs and we're not perfect. Okay? We're humans. You need to keep on moving. Somebody here lost faith on everything. And I feel like somebody here that's either spiritual or psychic or deals with spirits lost faith. Something happened with you or somebody that you lost faith there for a minute and all guys and ancestors turned their back because of that. My God. You could be thinking here with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, that just left me fucked up in the head. And my energy's drained. I've been for two weeks. My God, that just left me fucked up in the head. Whoever I picked up on right now, please. Just please. Listen to your ancestors. Listen to your guides. Don't fight. Get out of a situation that you're not supposed to be in. Because there's moments and times where we're fully protected. We're born fully protected. But sometimes when our guides and our ancestors see them doing things over and over again. And they know that it's fucked up for us. They back up, and that's when people start questioning, where's my guide? Where's my protector? Where's my ancestor? Where's my saint? Where is God? Whatever you believe in, they're there. The problem is the person that's not moving out of a situation they shouldn't be in. You could be dealing with Taurus, a Leo, a Capricorn, Pisces, a Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Scorpio. Somebody's very drained here. Somebody here thinks too much. Somebody here sits down, lays down, wherever you are, like chilling. You, you doze off and you think too much about something that has happened here. Stop thinking, get up and move. Because somebody here thinks too much about, you know, it's just like, I'm picking up a depression. It's very hard because I suffer from depression. So I can tell you that when it's, you know, a chemical imbalance in the brain, depression comes in, it's, there's no way on earth that anybody could tell you anything. That's when you need to seek help. And you have to go into yourself and know that you're fucking worth it. 
you have to keep on moving and fight it all the way down to the motherfucking end. Because you're the boss bitch. You're the boss nigga. You got to fight them things very strongly. Okay? Because I almost died twice. And I'm here. I fought it. And it doesn't mean that I'm stronger than you. Because we're all strong in every sense of the word. But somebody needs to hear that. Somebody's very, very guarded here. Somebody sleeps with a knife under their pillow here. Or right next to them. Me neither. What else here for Aquarius? Somebody here is very guarded. They sleep with a knife under their pillow or next to them. Or somebody here doesn't trust nobody. Or there's knives under somebody's bed. Something's going on here. This came out on the fence. Somebody is very controlling. They won't let you go. Or, they ne or didn't let you go at some point in time. But I feel like somebody's coming in here. That you're going to meet new here. And it's going to make you. It's a person that. It's going to come off in the beginning. Like what the fuck. You don't tell me what to do. You don't come here and put rules on the table. But somebody here needs that. Somebody here needs somebody to come in and say listen. In a nice way. I wear the pants here in this relationship. Let me help you with this. Let me do that. You do this. And come to an agreement. Because somebody here. Woman. Or man. Is very strong when it comes to wearing the pants. Very dominant. And it's not a bad thing. I've always been like that. I wear the pants where I go. But I'm picking up the same energy here. Somebody needs somebody to come in and say, you know what? Sit down for a minute. Let me tell you how this goes here. I wear the pants here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You do this. You do that. In a very respectful way is what I'm picking up here. And somebody might come in and do that with you. You might meet this person, and then you're not going to like it. It's going to be like triggering you in some type of way. Like, you don't tell me what to do. You don't wear no pants around here. I wear the pants. You have to listen, because this person might be the one to make you happy. Somebody else is going to come in strongly to your energy, and you're going to see it like a little bit offensive. Don't get offended. This person is going to love you. They're going to help you with stability. You know, whatever you're going through, whatever you need, whatever in the future, but they're going to be strong-minded, just like you. You're going to bump heads with this person. But this person might be the one. In the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles, true love, coming in. Somebody that's going to love you right. Somebody that's going to love you like nobody else uh, before. I feel like this person's going to offer you. I feel like it's going to be like, oh, no. You're going to bump heads with this person. But at the end, you're going to end up with this person if you already didn't. Listen to, look, stability right here. The, pen, the Ten of Pentacles. You know, somebody here that knows what they're doing. Somebody here that shuts down whenever they should shut down. Somebody that goes into their self whenever they want to and they come right back out. Somebody here that has suffered everybody's burdens. Not only yours. You've suffered everybody's fucking burdens. And they've left you suffering burdens. But that is not your fucking problem. You need to worry about yourself. And if this is the past. And it still haunts you. You need to move on from that. Because you go into yourself a lot. And you think about things. And how they've done you wrong. And you're doing yourself. You're doing good. You're going to come into great abundance. Money's coming your way. Whether it's by a job. A raise. You know something that's coming in. A purchase of something, it doesn't matter. A hustle, it doesn't matter. You're going to have the strength to get what you want. But somebody's trying to come your way to fuck that up. Or somebody's in your way right now. And this is for only one person that I'm picking up on here. Maybe a couple. It's that she's going very strong on this person. But, Aquarius, I see love coming in. I see a person you're going to hit the chemistry with. But they're going to be very strong minded. Like I just keep on picking up. I just keep on seeing the look. <laughs> and the little tiny arguments you and this person is going to have. And at the end of the day, there's going to be the person that's going to make you happy. And give you everything that you've ever wanted. Sometimes it's like that. Let me see. What else, Mineta? Damn, Mineta was... I don't know who she was talking to, but... The Will of Fortune is here. It's time for you to move forward. And get everything you deserve in this lifetime. Because somebody here wants you like this. They want you burdened up. They don't want you to move forward. They never have, is what she just said. 
So this could be a person five, ten years ago, twenty years ago. I don't know her. I heard just heard eighteen for a reason. That's you know, it's like a person that for there's an attachment with this person. Look at the tower card in the bottom. I feel like this person still in motherfucking denial that you walked away from them. But somebody here has their intuition on point. Somebody here picks up things. Somebody here knows when something's going to happen. You feel it. And then you're like, I don't know. And then when it happens, you're like, damn, I knew it. You have some type of gift here. You need to open that up. You need to open it up so you can help yourself. There's a lot of love here. That I'm seeing that somebody here, Aquarius, says you're giving a lot of love to yourself here. You you know you're doing things for yourself here, but you're still hurt, very much hurt inside. Because sometimes when you move, you move, everything's really good, and boom, three four months later, drama comes in out of nowhere, and you're like, what the fuck? I don't talk to nobody. I don't chill with nobody. I don't know about this person, but the drama comes in. That's where you need to turn around, ignore the shit, and keep on going. All right? But there's somebody here, you know, that's coming into your energy. And I feel like a lot of you are meditating on manifesting beautiful things. And I feel like the power of your faith is going to manifest beautiful things. Plus, the universe is coming in in your favor here. If somebody's seeing like a, a weird light or a ray of light or a little spark of light or anything outside of your home, inside your home, or even when you're driving, that's a sign. I don't know why I would pick up on an angel because I just heard angel. Somebody lost a son here or a daughter. This daughter or son that you lost, they might have been younger. They're trying to um, tell you, but they're touching your head. It's that like they show you little glares of light or sparks or sparks of light or like something really fast. You know, like a flying star like that outside of the home or inside of the home. They might be playing with the lights, but I see very clearly something around somebody's head here. Or you're wearing something that that person, that child. It's a child. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. My condolences to the child. I lost a child. But this child, and I say child because it's not showing, this person is not showing me their age. First I saw small, and then I saw like a teenager turning into a 20. So I don't know if that's the pattern that they're going in right now, because remember, sometimes they come in. You know, not in the age that they died. They come in looking older because that's, the, how, that's how they want to be. And sometimes a person dies and they're like 50 years old, let's say. And they come in looking like they're 13. Why? Because that was the best time of their life. So people need to understand that sometimes our spirits come in. That's why I want to do classes, but I won't even dare do them out here in YouTube. Uh-uh. But somebody here is meditating on themselves, manifesting beautiful things for yourself. It's going to come into fruition. I feel like they've been doing a lot of researching online or somebody here is looking for something to give them more abundance is coming to you some of you need to work with hecate here some of you need to work with hecate here goddess hecate she's amazing i work with her some of you need to work with hecate she's strongly here saying it i will help you my condolences to whoever lost a child here but this child is blooming on you. Like everything, all the burdens, you need to be happy. This child wants to, uh, to be happy. I feel like somebody got murdered here. I don't know who it is. If it's a cousin or an uncle or, oh um, my God. Um, somebody here that's with somebody in the realm. And that I get, whoever I'm picking up here, this child is with that person. They're showing you butterflies. I feel like a big branch or something, not a branch, like a big thing of fall down from a tree and almost hit somebody and you freaked out. Somebody freaked out here. That was a sign. Look in the sky. I just heard. Look in the sky. 
for something. There's going to be a sign in the sky. They just said, look in the sky. I don't know who that's for. Hmm. And let me see. You could be dealing here with a Gemini, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Aries again. Any sign of that for me, Leo, Virgo. Let me see. Show me something else, me negra. Oh my God, I can't. I can't. I just can't. My God. I'm telling you, I'm seeing a child. Distant horizon. In the distance. And it could be the realm. It doesn't matter what's the distance. They're always next to you. They're trying to gift you. They're trying to help you. Whoever this child is, is very... I'm feeding this child and I want to cry right now because I lost a child. But no matter where our past loved ones are, they're always with us. And this child is like giving me the energy of like a five degree spirit. Like it's able to move things. And not every spirit does that. Just so everybody can understand. Not every spirit does that. There's certain levels of spirits to get to a place. And some of them never get there. But this child is moving things in your house. Or it could have been a child that you lost. A child that, you know, could have been your brother, your sister. It doesn't matter. But there's a child showing themselves here. You might have been working when this child passed away or something happened at work or you had to, something's going on here like, I don't know. Oh my God. Somebody might have drowned here. Minera, give me something else. Somebody might have drowned here for some reason. I'm so sorry. But they're working so hard to help you. You need to light them up. Yeah. I mean, whoever's coming in here is going to be a person that's going to communicate with you. A person that's going to give you some understanding. A person that's going to help you deal with whatever it is. You know, past pain, past trauma, childhood trauma. A person that you were dealing with that you couldn't sit down and talk to. A person that, you know, you did all the work. You would work while this person wouldn't work. And when they had a chance to work, they didn't work. And I'm talking about jobs. And when they have money, they didn't give. You feel me? But somebody's coming in here that's going to help you. That's going to sit down with you. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be anyone. Somebody that you meet. And all of a sudden, this becomes something. You feel me? But they're going to be able to help you here when it comes to understanding things. And just having conversation, a beautiful conversation. It could be a person that's wealthy or has a real high position in a job here. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Somebody here might have served time for doing something to a child here. Or might be going to... Um, mm -mm. I feel like this person, I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like this person, there's a person here that got murdered. But I also feel, for some reason, she's telling me, I can handle the same thing. Somebody's innocent here. Whether there was something done or, done or not done. Somebody was innocent here. Or somebody's innocent here. And they're being charged for no reason. And they might have served time for this. Or they might have a life sentence. Or am I going to hit a life sentence where they're not going to come out. Until it's going to be like a life sentence. Somebody needs to lawyer up here. Very hard. 
Because if somebody goes to a courtroom here, somebody's going to get accused of something. Something might happen, you know, out of nowhere. And somebody, something happens. It could be that you're passing by somewhere. Let me give you an example. So don't, don't think that it's getting too crazy. You could be passing by a block. And something happens in that block. And you're just passing by. And they say, okay, that car, that person, whatever it was, they were walking, whatever it is, they were here. For some reason, somebody is going to get accused. And until that time don't come, trial comes, everything comes. But I feel like somebody here is serving time for no reason. For somebody lying and because they didn't have a good um, representation in court. Somebody had power over that. When it came to um, lowering up. Somebody here also might be going to jail for doing something for, to a child here. And it could be a mom, a main female, or a female that's fucking with somebody here that you used to mess with. It could be a, it could be a dude, but I'm seeing a female here. Maybe the um, old mama. My God. Let me see. Mineta, what else is the Aquarius thing to hear? That's it. She said that's it. Look. Angel number 555. 55, 55. Look it up. You need to read this right now. If this is resonating to you. There's something there you need to see. 11, 11, um, 1144 is in the clock. Take that number two. Look it up. Every number is an angel number or a spiritual number. Let me see what else. Mineta. Okay, that's it. Let me see what you got here. I don't know who I resonated there to for a minute, but there's something going on that you need to know about. But a lot of you are coming to abundance, breaking, you know, these burdens, this pain, all this shit. But some of you are still carrying this pain inside of you. And it's like, because every time you turn around, there's fucking drama everywhere. And that you don't want that drama. It's like you've been there and done that. Why the fuck do I want to go back to what I just left years ago? You feel me? It's like when, you, when you're when young and you're doing crazy shit, why the fuck you want to go back to that? You're in another type of energy. You feel me? You got angel. Listen. You got angel 30, um, 333. 3333. You might be seeing the secrets to your lie, but you need to look up on it. And when I say look, li listen, I can't. I'm getting so many numbers in this reading. I think I said a bunch of numbers already. You got one, one, one. One, one. I opened, I think, with 11, 11. Was it this one or was it Libra? I don't remember. Because when I'm channeling, I don't remember a damn thing. You got three, three, three. 33, 33. You got a lot of angels here and spiritual messages for you. You need to go to Google, open up spiritual number, 333 or 111, whatever number I'm giving you. Angel number. Sometimes when you open angel number, it tells you everything to the bottom. The spiritual meaning, the animal meaning, the angel meaning, the life meaning. You need to open this up because somebody here strongly needs to hear something here. Secrets are hidden. Family, blood, friends. It will all come out. Pay attention. I messed up. Had sex with one of your friends. They will only be with trash because you high honor. I'm telling you somebody's high honor here. This is this trash or this person you were with in the past that fucked you up so bad that left you with so many. My God, I'm hearing so many years of like so much pain and drama. And I'm seeing so much that I, I would be here at least two hours. They will start channeling all this. You are too powerful and they know it. They want people to be. They want people to see you with them. So you need to understand, Aquarius, your power is not like this person's power or these people's power. You have a different kind of power. You have a power that when you walk around, people see a, there's something different at you. It's like you're alluring. It's like you pull people with your energy like a magnet. They see something in you. You might be a person that helps people just by saying two words. You feel me? You might be a healer, you might be a psychic, you might be a witch, you might be a, you know, something that they see, but there's something that people hear when they come around you, 
they want you to walk with them so people can see them. But people in reality don't see them. They see you. So who, the, who, who these people are, they stupid and retarded. I'm going to say it like that. Because they can't just walk up on me now all over the place because I'm psychic. and they want That doesn't make no damn sense. They're looking like damn fools doing this. But, listen, walking and talking, <laughs> listen, look at and book it. Because I'm telling you, I don't even know where that came from, but whoever was looking at you, and I feel like somebody here for doing that shit, somebody looked at you, and mm -mm, somebody like you here on the other side. You're very powerful, Aquarius. You got a lot of faith here. And I feel like you've gone through so much shit that you've learned how to have more faith during the process. Keep on going. You're going to come to great abundance. I had sex. and only I have sex and only think about you. That's the only way I get off. So there's somebody here that you left. But I feel like there's somebody here that I'm not trusting. I'm feeling already like I want to close the reading. My, my chest is like closing. That's why I'm slowing down a little bit because I feel like somebody here. I don't know. There's something about a child here. Caution. This might be a person, too, that you were with that is sick. It's a pedophile. It's a person that, even if you left them, they look at your pictures, you know, and that's not a pedophile. Pedophiles with a child. And it, it could be with adults, too. But it's a person that, even if there was somebody else, they got to get off by looking at your pictures. They When they when they have sex with somebody else, they got to think about you. Or they can't get off. It's a person that might be even telling another person and they fucked up when they're having sex about your name or somebody's name. Somebody said somebody's name here. I'm going to stay quiet. Spells broke this connection, haters in your circle. So whatever connection you had here that you really loved, a connection that you don't know what the fuck happened to it, a connection that was good for you, that you felt the chemistry, the love, and you don't know what happened all of a sudden, yes, yeah, spells broke that connection. Somebody went and did some spells and broke the connection because they're just jealous as motherfuckers. That's it. Get into it. Because I see a lot of thinking here. Somebody, mm -mm. like that happiness is gone for some reason. And somebody's um energy here. Because of a person. It was spells, baby. Whoever it is. Spells do work, people. And they will break up a happy home. Fuck it up until somebody comes in and removes whatever the fuck they threw. Let me see, me negra. She already threw them down. Let me see. Somebody here, mm -mm. somebody is thinking too hard. It's like replaying events in your mind. It's like over and over. Somebody's very inside their head here thinking a lot about what has happened, what has done. Like, I don't know if I said this here. I don't remember what reading I said. In, I think it was this one. You know, you need to like, I feel like there's like a group that gets together. I don't care if it's guys, you know, or girls, but there's a group that gets together and it's like, you need to go out more. You need to spend more time with your friends, with family. You need to move around. You need to have fun. You need to get out of your house. You need to be happy, man. You got girl um, talk here and cassette. But I also feel like at some point, somebody was either listening to your conversation or telling everything that would happen to you in your life to somebody else. You need... I feel like you need to stop the racing thoughts. You need to put a stop and pause to it together. Stop it. Because the overwhelming that I'm feeling and the overthinking that I'm seeing is so much that it's not letting you move forward. It's in your own head. But there's spells done here. There's, there's spells done here. That broke not only the connection, because remember when they send spirits, bad spirits, entities, they don't only break a connection, and that's the target. They break everything. This could be first, middle, last initial for you, this person. What were you thinking about? It don't matter. Wow. That just hit me in my solar plex. So somebody might need solar plex um, aligning here, and it's a straight M. But since I like to do it on camera, I'm going to flip it again. 
Let me see. It came back to an X. Y'all know me with that X. If y'all know me, y'all already know me with this X. And this little furry thing is getting me messed up. I'm going to change it. I got another one. Okay, it was a G. Okay. You got, you got an A here. You got another G. You got an E. You got a J. You got a J. And it flipped to a C because of the fur, but I don't care. Take it as a C too. Um, you got an F. You got an A here. You got an H, a straight H. Okay. You got a Y here. You got a D. <laughs> My grandson screaming. Well, it's time for me to stop so I can go play with him. You got an O here. You got an N that could also be a C. Okay. My energy is dropping in this um, reading right here. You got a D. And you got another E here. Okay. So you got three E's. You got another um, E here. So I'm going to flip this E. This E. What else you got? Let me see what happens. It came back to an E. So E is very significant for somebody here. And you got another A. So I'm going to flip this A. This E. And you got double O. So I'm flipping this O right here. All together. You got B. Okay. You got R. And you got N, which could also be a U. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. I love you all, and I'll see you later, my loves.